Hey folks, welcome. Brendan Page here from Rampage Ski School. I'd like to welcome you to my first video. We're going to start from the basics and work our way up with some input from you guys. I'll be doing lots of varieties of tricks um, as we progress through the stages. So first things first, we're going to do the deep water start. I presume that you've already seen the seahorse video, gone and got one and learnt to get up on your feet with that. Um, if not, go and get one before you watch this video. Just turn it off right now, no point watching it, you're not going to get it. Let's get to the next stage. We're going to be doing the deep water start, but off the boom bar, okay? That's the next must in barefoot water skiing. You need to go and get yourself one of these. This here is an eagle wetsuit. Is the thickest, slides the best on the water, um, and without doubt makes it a lot easier to learn how to barefoot. This is definitely my suit of choice, and I'll, I'll continue to ski in one of these for as long as I barefoot. This here is all you need. It's a short leg, no sleeve, has the best for movability on the water. It makes it a lot easier, and it's definitely the way to go in barefoot water skiing. So make sure you go and get one today, and uh, I'll see you on the water. You're about to see what it does. <laughs> okay, now we're ready to get to the water. I'm going to go out there and show you all the tips and tricks you're going to need to know to get up on your feet. Let's do it. That sounded good. Driver tips! Please don't do that. Please don't it's going worried. in the video, okay? What we're going to do is, as I take off, we're going to slowly ease that boat to the left, okay? By doing that, it lifts that boom bar up and makes it nice and light. I don't get water in my face. You'll see by the end of this, my hair might be dry depending how she goes. Okay, so first of all, we're going to do that ease to the left and then slowly flatten off so I go gliding on the water. Alrighty, so here we are. The boat's taking off. You put your hips up out of the water. That uh, stops the spray from hitting you in the face. Makes it nice and comfortable. From there you want to slowly ease down onto the water. The key with barefoot is to do everything slow. Now you want to slide those knees up to your chest. Your feet are going to be weightless, so you can take them off and bring them as close to your bum as you can. Now it's just a matter of setting them on the water as lightly as possible, just slowly setting those heels on the water. It takes the pressure off your bum, and from there you can ease up really slowly, making sure that your shoulders are behind your bum and your knees are directly over the top of your heels. And then you're away. When you put your feet down on the water, you have to think of it as a treadmill, alright? You're standing next to the treadmill, and as you place that foot on it, you don't want it to fly behind you, otherwise you'll be doing a front flip. So you got to resist the, the pulling of it. So you got to push against it a little bit, not by pushing your leg out in front of you, just by resisting it. And that's exactly what barefooting is. Common mistakes. Lots of barefooters, when they start, they forget to slide their feet up the line. So as soon as they take their feet off, their legs are dead straight, and then this happens. Okay, so you've been up on your feet for a while, and you're ready to let go. All you do is the same, but in reverse. So you slowly sit down on the water, legs up in the air, and just let go of the bar. At this stage, it's just about doing the same thing in reverse, just nice, slow, easy steps, and I guarantee you'll get it first time, every time. See you on the water. Bing, bing, bing. 